This podcast is brought to you by StarCharge, the largest EV charging manufacturer in the world, and is also a provider of residential and commercial battery storage and microgrid solutions. And KimPower, the reliable, quick, and scalable EV charging solutions for everyone and everywhere. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Out of Spec Podcast. I'm your host, Francie. I'm so glad I caught you at this curious moment today. Thanks for plugging in with me for some electric news. I run the Out of Spec Podcast where we have expert interviews in the space of electrifying our transportation system, stories of EV ownership and EV driving from road trips to just buying an EV, going electric, or adding another one to your five EV lineup. And of course, really anything that is interesting in this space from breaking news to curious stories. So thank you again for joining me today. I'm talking about the newest EV delivery vehicle to hit the North American market. And that is the Ram ProMaster EV. Of course, this is from Ram. The commercial space, the delivery space, the trucking space, the taking things from to and bringing them to fro space is, in my opinion, rife with potential for electrification. But we're going to see how we're able to do this in the right way. So let's look into Ram's approach here with the ProMaster EV. You can see it here, Ram's first EV offering, in fact, and they went immediately for the commercial space, which is an interesting approach for sure. And I think makes a lot of sense coming from a brand that is built on being powerful. You know, this can do work. And that is the message definitely that they're trying to get across here. Ram Pro Master is a EV delivery vehicle. It offers uh, the cargo and delivery option. The delivery is actually available for order now, and the cargo model will be available later. So I'm going to get into the details, but I thought it would also be interesting to talk about the parent company of Ram, Stellantis, and also how the this delivery cargo van that is electric, fully electric, compares to the other options on the market, the Ford E-Transit and the Rivian EDV, or electric delivery vehicle. So let's dive into it. Stellantis is the is a multinational automotive manufacturing corporation. It was formed in 2021, which is why I think a lot of people don't really know who's under the Stellantis umbrella and when it happened and really what Stellantis in so is. So it was through the merger of the FCA, the Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and the PSA group. And it is one of the last automakers to announce their plans for the North American charging standard. And by today, January 17th, it's the evening. They still have not announced that. And this is, of course, Tesla's proprietary connector charging technology that they opened up last year in that all EV charging networks and most all except for now Stellantis, Mitsubishi, and VinFast have announced, okay, we're going to adopt the standard, which is called J3400, which we will refer to that from now on for the most part as into our future battery electric vehicle lines. We'll make adapters, dot, dot, dot. This is all going to hopefully improve the public charging experience. Anyways. So they contain actually 14 brands under the Stellantis umbrella. They have a 2030 strategy for dare forward, and it is a bold strategy. They want to achieve carbon net zero by 2038. And Stellantis has also invested and will invest 30 billion euros through 2025 into the electrification and software development needed to deliver battery electric vehicles that meet their customer demands. So they have U.S. brands out of U.S. brands. They don't have a super heavy background in EVs, so it'll be interesting to see what their strategy is. But of course, here we have the Ram. So let's compare the Ram Pro Master EV, the 4D Transit, and the Rivian EDV. So before we start really comparing the Ram Pro Master, this is new, so I'm going to tell you a bit about it. Like I said, the delivery version is available for orders now, and it has a cargo model. So as they describe it, the delivery vehicles offer a rear roll-up door to satisfy the cargo loading and unloading required for vocational and delivery customers alike. The roll-up door is constructed with anodized aluminum for weight optimization and durability to meet high-duty cycles, they say. And it has a pocket door that is standard on the Ram Pro Master EV delivery vehicle to ease ingress and egress while making deliveries. I love that I get to use that vocabulary in this podcast. So the cargo design, they have a battery positioned under the floor, not abnormal, that has the, you know, flat cargo floor. Sometimes space can be compromised for batteries, but we especially see that mostly in passenger EVs. There's a lot more space to be used in bigger vehicles like this. So software connectivity, they also will have, of course, 
firmware over the air updates, 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspots, apps over the air, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I know a lot of us are passionate about that. And especially if you're using this on the day to day in your work, I think this has a lot of really good options that. Um, I'm not sure how much it goes into the decision of someone working at a company based on the vehicles that they're going to be driving, but I think it probably could definitely improve the lifestyle of your day if you're spending many hours in this truck, this van. They have a standard LED headlights and fog lights and standard high-res backup camera, just to name a few of these amenities in this EV. So performance, the motor. The Ram Pro Master EV has 268 horsepower and a 302 pound-foot torque. The range is 162 miles for city driving, and the load rating is 3,020 pounds for cargo. The Ford E-Transit cargo vans have a maximum payload of 3,880 pounds and up to 4,428 pounds for cutaway versions, and they have a powerful electric motor, they say, providing 266 horsepower or 198 kilowatts of power and a 317 pound-foot of torque across all of their configurations. For the Rivian EDV, there are some, there is some information that's not exactly very obvious, uh, but we do see that it has, I couldn't find the horsepower and torque, but I would assume that it's using the R1S or the R1T configuration for that. It has a range of 161 miles and a load rating of 2,733 pounds for cargo. Of course, I'm sure you're wondering about batteries. So battery size, starting with the Ram Pro Master EV, 110 kilowatt hours, the Ford E Transit, 68 kilowatt hours. And we're not sure of the size of the battery in the Rivian EDV, but we do know that is a, a LFP battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery, which are favorable in a lot of circumstances for sure. Moving on to charging capabilities, the Ram Pro Master EV is capable of level three DC fast charging up to 150 kilowatts. Of course, also compatible with level two AC charging at 11 kilowatts. It also has charging station locators and an EV dynamic trip prediction, which I'm sure no matter how you're using that is useful. For the Ford E Transit, it also gets up to 115 kilowatts for DC fast charging and is uh, compatible with AC level two charging for the Rivian EDV up to a hundred and kilowatt fast charging compatible with AC level two charging. What about price? Let me know. What do I have to shill out to get this delivery or cargo van for the Ram pro master EV price is not provided. Could not find that online. Maybe if I put in an order, the Ford E transit $50,000 about USD and then the Rivian EDV, $83,000. So quite the, the difference there. In terms of usability and comfort, I think that's where the Ram Pro Master EV is really going to be able to make its way in there and make it a real value add. Like if you're going to work for our company or outfit your fleet with this stuff, 159 inch wheelbase, extended super high roof model, available heated steering wheel and heated windshield and safety features, park sense with stop and white noise backup alarm. For the Ford E-Transit, you can have upgraded features, including certain kinds of flooring, a two-way manual driver and passenger seats, heated side mirrors, and adaptive cruise control if ordered with my key. So I'm not sure how competitive that is and didn't have many stats on the Rivian EDV in terms of usability and comfort. But I do know that they have been implemented in the Amazon fleet and some people love it, some people hate it. Um, it's cool to see this kind of approach. I think that these are such necessary vehicles in the way that our world works for the economy, for getting things done on the day-to-day, -to, -day, to getting the things that you order online. I mean, these delivery vans are in all of our neighborhoods. So electrifying them, I think, is really cool and a great opportunity to, whether it's take down greenhouse gases or just improve the lives of the people that are working in the space to be working with electric vehicles, because a lot of people do say it's way more comfortable and even more fun and just advanced than driving a gas-powered van. We'll see. So that is a bit of a, an overview of the Ram Pro Master EV, their parent company Stellantis, and how it compares to the other EV delivery van and cargo vans that are on the market. So we'll see who really starts to step out ahead in the space as 2024 goes on. Thank you for tuning into the Out of Spec podcast. If you enjoyed, let me know. Of course, subscribe, leave a question if you have one in the comments. We like to get to them and uh, let me know what you'd be interested in hearing next. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Genuinely stay warm. I know it's been really cold out there this January and we will see you next time on the Out of Spec podcast.